Leviticus chapter, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that. Leviticus chapter number 19, verse 31. And the people going down to witch doctors. There's those who call themselves a Christian witch. There's no such thing as a Christian witch. You can't be a witch and a Christian at the same time because evil witches conjures up demons. Jesus was always casting out demons. You can't serve two masters. He said, love the one and hate the other. People are serving Baphomet in a Masonic lodge. My grandfather was a Mason. He was a preacher and built four churches. He was a fireball preacher, but he was a Mason worshiping Baphomet. You can't serve two masters. And thank God my grandmother talked him out of it. He was only on the third degree level. And thank God he got out of it. Some folks just don't know. That's why the Bible said my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge, because they have rejected knowledge. And God said, so I will reject you, and then I will reject your children. So a lot of folks just stop that. My people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge, and that's it. Hosea 4, 6. There's more, right? Because they rejected it. They didn't want to hear it. So then God rejected them. And then he said, I reject your children? You don't want God to reject your children because you rejected God. Oh, my God. So I, like the man of God said, I'm coming back. God is married to the backslide. Right. You preached the mouthful right there. Right. Look what the Bible says in Leviticus chapter 19, verse 31. I'm glad you mentioned about them horoscopes. Look what it says. Okay. Regard not them that have familiar spirit. Yes. Neither yes. seek after wizards. Yes. To be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. I'm the Lord your God. So wizards are male witches. They're sorcerers. The Bible says sorcerers will have their part in the lake of fire. There's a lot of sorcerers in the mega churches on the word channel begging for your money. Talking about $72,000 in the meal and you're going to get a miracle. You didn't get no miracle yet. All you got was more demons. <laughs> they got all your money. I don't mind sending money to a real ministry, to a true man of God, a woman of God, and you'll get blessed, but not a false prophet. Jesus said, my sheep know my voice. God bless you, young man. God is blessing that young man. God is saving him. God bless you, woman of God. Hallelujah. You on fire for God. She was shot in Hallelujah last week. She on fire for God. You too anointed to be disappointed. Oh, oh, Hallelujah. Pray we all together praising God. God bless you too, brother. Happy to see you. You too blessed to be scripted. Have a good day today. Hallelujah. Praise God. On the word channel preachers. You got the mega preachers begging for money. They are sorcerers. They're hypnotizing God's people. That's why it's important to know God's word. Because when God's word in you, he gives you a gift of discernment. God will tell you, that's not my ministry. That's not a me. Now, sometimes they may fool you at first. Thank you for coming, man of God. Yes, Lord. Yes. I want to leave you with this. Say this. Go ahead. This is for all the, the, the mega pastors. Yes. All the wolves and sheep clothes. Say it. All the false prophets. Say it. Matthew 23. Woe to the pastors that scatter my sheep. Yes. On the last day of judgment and resurrection, these same people are thinking they're going to be uh, conniving. The Jeremiah Lord, 23, right? Jeremiah 23, That's 23, right. Lord. Keep going. And the Lord is going to say, yeah, you did all those things. Yes. But you didn't throw them in my name, sin. That's right. Your reward was on earth. Yes. The cars, the jets, and the money. Yes. Depart from me. I never knew you. That's right. You said. That's right. I'm glad you mentioned that. That was the right scripture you said. Jeremiah 23, right? Yes. Verse 1. Woe be to the pastors. The pastors. That destroy and scatter you the sheep you said of my pastor, says what, the Lord. So, read that again. Oh, woe be unto the pastors yes. that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor, said the Lord. I know God gave you that. That's what God said. I know God gave you that. Woe be to the pastors. That's why right. pastors cheating on their wives, not the judge, but it's true. We're praying for them, but a lot of them don't even care. A lot of pastors having affairs with every girl he prayed for. And he think he's going to heaven because he's a pastor. God don't have no respect to person. Discarding people in the church, destroying God's people. That's why a lot of folk got hurt in church. Thank God for our good shepherd, which is Jesus Christ. That's right. Like the man of God said, what Jesus said, you're going to say, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of what? Iniquity. That's Matthew chapter number 20, uh, chapter 7, verse 22. See, he said, they're going to come in my name saying, I prophesy in thy name. I did many wonderful works in thy name. That's, and I did. I, I, I did all these good works in your name. And he's going to say, I never knew you. Honey, I better check myself before I wreck myself. That's not like people who was being used by God. Exactly. That means you can have an anointing and still not please God because you're not bearing the fruits. That's deep, isn't it? That's why of the spirit. That's why Jesus said you'll know them by their fruits. He didn't say by their gift. Because the gifts according to God are without repentance. 
Thank you. Romans chapter 11, verse 29. So it takes the morning to get some prophesying. I had to have the love. I'm glad you said that. That's why Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, Though I speak with tongues and of men and of angels, but have not charity, it profits me nothing. Though I have the gift of prophecy, and have all knowledge to understand all mysteries, but have not charity, which means love, it profits me nothing. So don't be fooled by the miracles you see on TV. Some of these miracles have been staged. Uh-oh. <laughs> Paying for the life. To sit in the wheelchair. Some oh, the Lord just healed this young man in the wheelchair. And the man was already healed. The man when he was sick, he was just paid to lie and sit in the wheelchair. Open your eyes. Someone say, open your eyes. All oh, these miracles you see on TV is staged. Paying for the lie. To lay in the casket. There was one man one time in Africa, act like he was dead and laying in the casket. And they had this man act like he was raising a man from the dead. The man was paid to lay in the casket. Before you stop playing around with God, God is not a joke. They do these things for money. So they can beg folk for money to sorcerize people. Now don't get me wrong, God can still work miracles yes, through you. Yes, but that's the power of God. His power through you is holy. That's the only time. Praise the Lord. But the devil tries to counterfeit that with magic. Like the days of Moses, when the magicians threw down their rod, when Moses' rod turned to a serpent, and the magicians threw down their rods and it turned to a serpent. But God's serpent ate up their serpents. Magic can never outdo the power of God. Oh, 